hello, hello, my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy, and I'm getting back with you real quick with a, a VR to reuse Muse. Guys, re, I'll put a link below. Uh, reused uh, Muse uh, is having a um, challenge giveaway, and what she would like for you to do is make either a pocket letter, a flip book, a stuffed envelope, or a card. And you guys know me, I just, I can't stop. I have to do it all. And she's got a list uh, below of a lot of things that she'd like you to use some of, if you'd like. Uh, but that she's really into. And so I kind of tried to go with one of her themes on there. Uh, she likes black and white photos and shabby chic. So I said, okay, why don't we do black and white vintage ladies? And so that was my theme for this, guys. And so to start it off, I made her a card. And I love this image right here. And it's got the uh, Cry Me a River poem behind it, which, you know, I have to really look at to even see. But I love the lettering. I just love that style of lettering. So I went ahead and printed this out. Now, I, I did it all in black and white. And then I used a uh, Martha Stewart corner punch to uh, try to go around this edge right here, guys. I used the loop one. And uh, this is what I come up with to go around the edge there. It's something I'm kind of squirreling around with. I haven't done much of that, but I thought it turned out kind of cute. So there's the card that I did. And then I did a um, the stuffed envelope. Of course, I don't have all the stuffings in here or nothing like that, but... This is what I come up with for that, guys. Um, I did another black and white vintage lady photo and decorated and just did the pocket. I did the edges with some of the uh, Tim Holtz vintage photo distress ink. And I used this beautiful ribbon that I had gotten from one of the girls that says, Life is an Adventure. And it's done in black and white. And I did a couple of pops here. And I just thought that turned out pretty good. And that's what I did for that. And again, I used that loop punch around the edge there. Jess old the bag. This is one of the uh, paper bag lunch bags for the kids. So I just went ahead and did that, sealed the sides up and stuff. And then I did the, uh, just the barely colorized of her on the back. And then blinged her up and uh, kind of went with that. So that kind of helped, hits with a couple of her favorite theme there and then I put a little bit of bling in there and then I did some tags to go in them I did this one which is kind of vintage and a little shabby chic looking I think just some tags and then these are done of just like old newspaper ads and stuff from the Victorian era of uh cod liver oil and uh, liquid bluing and and uh the oil and the liniment and the cologne and i just just for fun and whimsy i thought i'd stuff those in the front there because i generally like to go with tags in the front of my stuffed envelopes or bags you know i've gotten so i do more bags and i do envelopes i think they still kind of count <laughs> and i can get more stuff in them but that's what i did for that and then the pocket letter i went with the black and white theme again and I kind of kept to it with the little lace trim over here and some black and white trims and stuff that I had to just go off the side here. And these are the, the pictures that I come up with. And again, you know, like I said, just black and white and just some bling and some lace trim down the middle of them. And I picked this one because it kind of represents me. Hi, the horse girl. Here I am. And then the back, I'm not going to show the back because I've got some goodies stuffed in there, but... I did something new with that, too, on the back of the black. I did one of my um, Gorgeous Girl designs, or not my Gorgeous Girl designs, the uh, the one I got, uh, y'all, I shared this with you. This is one of the Prima Bloom girls, and I got her because she looks like my sister Molly. And uh, I just put her on the back with silver, dot, silver uh, stamp ink on the back. And she's kind of puzzled, and then I just kind of gessoed around her on the back to keep with the black and white theme. And then, guys, um, what I did with the, uh, I did the flip book, and she likes hands. She does hands in just about all of her work. 
So I did the, the vintage girl again, and then I cut out a couple of hands, and I magnetized them and doubled them, and made them so that they would, uh, God, I hope I don't get none of this ink. I've been stamping in here. Uh, her hands intertwine like this. I just thought that was something pretty decent. I mean, I don't know what y'all think about that. And then inside, uh, I'll put, you know, bling and sparkle and stuff like that. But this is one of the uh, cereal box uh, flip books that I was telling y'all about that I just covered front and back with my um, decorative papers. And then just put the hands underneath the, the, the back one here so it would uh, shut. And I... I washi taped them together and like I said it's just made out of cereal boxes and I white gessoed them and uh, cut four by six and then uh, cut all of this stuff out and then I got it so her hands clasped so I hope she likes it um, I've got some little goodies to stuff in here and stuff like that but I just thought you know since she was big into the hands I'd do something like this and that's my little spin on what she liked and uh, again, guys, this is for Reuse Muse. I'll put a link below to the uh, challenge. I think we've still got a couple of weeks on this, so leave it to me to be the one of the last drags to come in. But um, anyways, guys, uh, those of you that's been here, uh, thank you for every minute that you spend with me. Uh, check out my ladies' challenge here. This might be something that you might want to get into real quick. Uh, <coughs> and um, have some fun with this. Uh, like I said, especially the hands, you know, because she's really into hands, and so that to me was a little challenge to come up with something cool that had the hands on it. And uh, those of you that's new to my channel, uh, go check my lady out down here. This is just one of the people uh, that's got awesome stuff going on that keeps our minds going on these awesome challenges. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on her. So, uh, guys, until next time, be crafty, be cool, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. All right? Bye-bye.